Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel. It is time for some monthly favorites. I skipped out on January's favorites because I was trying a lot of products at the time and not that I didn't necessarily like them, but they weren't favorites material. Now that I've had some time to use some of those products and even go back to old favorites, I have a new cluster of products that I have been loving lately and I'm ready to share them. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to start with is the face. Two face products here today. One you are probably well aware of because I've used it in so many tutorials recently. It is the Physicians Formula Touch of Glow Foundation. I did a review of this and essentially Despite having combination skin, I love that this is a nice glowy foundation. It has a hint of pearlescence without being overwhelmingly noticeable. It dries down to a matte finish so you don't have to worry about melting down throughout the day as those with combination or even oily skin types might produce excess oil. Doesn't melt down your face, which is awesome. And it doesn't give you that completely matte finish that I've been tending to go for prior to using this because it is winter. It's just, I find it easier to add highlight rather than keep mattifying throughout the day. This has just been perfect for me, adding highlight and radiance in all the right places. Next up is concealer. This is Becca's Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream, and I actually haven't done a review of this, despite the fact that it is a brand new concealer from the brand. It was kind of quietly launched. A lot of other new launches overshadowed it, so that's what I reviewed over this. But this has been what I've been loving in the background, and that is actually shocking for me, because if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you will know that it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer has been my jam for like well well over a year at this point. You can see I am <laughs> doing some work on this too. But I was compelled to try this just to see how it stacked up against my favorite and I have to say it is giving it a run for its money. Mine is in the shade Praline. I'll annotate how many shades are in this line because I forget. It's pretty light though but I find that it not only conceals but it brightens. And the texture with this is so different than anything I'm used to, especially the It Cosmetics. This almost has a tacky texture, which might sound really repulsive, but it's the only way I can think of to describe it. So the way I like to apply it is I dab my finger in it and then I have to blot in my under eye area. Otherwise it's so sticky that you do kind of get some tugging, which is a definite no-no in that area. But I find if I pat, it's super easy to blend and it gives maximum coverage. And then like I said, it brightens. So I find that I rarely have to use an under eye brush when I do go in and use this. The main difference I think between the two, because the IT is pretty good at full coverage and brightening, the difference is the texture. Because this is kind of tacky, I would say, or I'm not sure if that's the reason why, but I've noticed that it is less prone to sinking into fine lines, which is a problem that a lot of you guys have said you had with this foundation foundation. It's a concealer. While it is super hydrating, the fact that it's so emollient kind of allows it to sink into those fine lines. And so unless you're really kind of diligent with that setting powder, it is absolutely going to end up there at the end of the day. So for those of you who are having that problem with this, this is a definite close second and I have been loving it lately. The next products are some of those oldies but goodies I was talking about. These I loved right when they first launched, probably not even a year ago, but they're relatively recent. These are Socialized and these are a fellow YouTuber's brand. I think it's Carissa Pukas or Saturday Night's All Right. These are phenomenal lashes and I actually also like the accompanying lash glue. So I initially bought, I think, three sets back when they first launched. I didn't talk about them here on YouTube. I wore them in tutorials and stuff and videos, but I didn't explicitly review them or talk about them. I'll link to the blog post where I did below. But since then, I've worn the pants off those lashes and really wanted to try some different styles from the line. So I put in another order recently, which of course got me back into using them really regularly. You'll notice in a lot of the tutorials I did throughout the month of February, these were in them. So the style I'm currently wearing is Vamp. This is the old favorite, one of the initial three that I first ordered. And then the two new that I'd never tried but have been really loving are Glamorous. And these are nice because they're really long and curly and wispy, but they're not so dense. A lot of you were there for the snafu of the December uh, boxy charm where it was just like I had caterpillars across my lashes. These managed to be nice and dense but wispy at the same time. So you can definitely tell you're wearing false lashes or, or have lash extensions, but they don't look look too fake. And the next pattern is Minx. This I was inspired to try by Julie G because these look like some of the lashes that she wears that I feel like I could never pull off. She loves like spikier lashes and she rocks them just like looks gorgeous but I never tried it. So I feel like these were a nice compromise. They are kind of spiky. They do the crisscross thing, but they're not quite as over the top as hers are. So I've really been liking these. The other nice thing about these is that they are super affordable. I think five or six a lash. And then the lash glue, I was tempted to get because I ran out of my favorite lash glue, which was Kisses. It has a similar applicator, but this has a brush applicator. I've really been liking this because I found it dried a little faster than Kiss. And that might be because this brush applicator allows for a more precise application. So you're applying less product, just takes less time to dry. 
dry and I find the less time I have to work with my lashes, the fewer opportunities I have to screw them up. So really have been liking this lash glue. The next product is from Stila. It is their Field of Florals Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Palette. And this is another one that when it came out, it kind of went under my radar at least. I didn't see a whole lot for it. It's a limited edition palette. I'm not sure if it's for their winter or spring and summer collection. Either way, I was burning some gift cards from the holidays at Sephora and I saw this, really wanted to pick it up because it's a completely cream palette. Their convertible lip colors are permanent products within their line. There are some new uh, limited edition shades in here, but it contains a lot of the permanent shades as well and I know with spring and summer coming I'm gonna to gravitate towards these kinds of textures more but I found that I'm also really loving them over the liquid and cream textures that I'm wearing now so this has just been so stinking versatile obviously it's meant to be both lip and cream products but so I'm wearing a mixture of peach blossom and petunia these two in the center here on my cheeks and then I applied fuchsia all over my lips and decided I want to add a little bit of extra oh, something else and put hibiscus this gorgeous bright coral right in the center of my lips so that those are the kind of pop of cream colors you see on my face right now and I've really been loving this it's super nice and compact for traveling especially and it comes with a nice big mirror like I said haven't done a review on this haven't really mentioned it a whole lot period I can if you'd like but it's been a favorite, so obviously I'm gonna give it a two thumbs up. Last is a hair product. This is from the brand new Kardashian Beauty hairline, probably over a month ago, right when they first launched on Ulta's website. I have been known to peruse the what's new section more than I probably should have, but saw that these had just launched and I wanted to get a jump on it. Also because I've been meaning to do a beauty graveyard, I need to replace a lot of my hair products, dry shampoo being one of them. So went ahead and bit the bullet, got this Take Two dry shampoo. I do think they have a dry uh, conditioner as well, but I went for the dry shampoo because in my in previous experience, dry conditioner just hasn't worked for my hair. So have been using this. First of all, the smell is amazing. Easily the best smelling dry shampoo I've ever used. The other thing is it feels very conditioning. This is probably the first dry shampoo that while you can definitely tell it's a powder and it can leave a white cast, much like any dry shampoo can. So be careful with how far away you spray it. This almost feels like it conditions my hair. So all of their products, I bought a few actually that I've really been loving, but this has been my ultimate favorite for the, the month. Month. They all say they contain black seed oil, so I'm not sure if that kind of conditions the hair as a little bit of extra shine, just makes it soft to the touch. I've been loving the way this makes my hair feel, but it still is an effective dry shampoo. It wicks away excess oil and moisture at my roots so it doesn't weigh my hair down, but it doesn't get it so gunky that it just feels like I need to wash it immediately the day after. It really does extend the life of my hairstyles. So those are all of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about them, especially since we've been on a little favorites hiatus for a while. I'd love to hear what you guys have been loving recently in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.